anything back. Please don't hold anything back. Out to you, Jesus. Out to you, Jesus. Jesus. 
The dominion of light over darkness is instant. Is instant. We have commanded his presence. That means he's right beside me. That means he can hear me. That means he can hear me. Ah, do you know what that means? Sickness cannot stand with you. When God is standing with you, it is a lie. Addictions are choked out. Sin is commanded out. Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice, and communicate with your father. Jetabelatos, Rotes, Ketabes, Setabes, Setabes, Kaliatis, Jetabekabeletes, Kabeletes, Quapetes, go for me, go for me, go for me. I live here without encountering God. Ah, it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. The water tempest, Rotes, Ketabeletes, Visoto, Bebesiatis, Jetabeliatis. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your evil flow. Let the truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the Light has arrived. Light has arrived. Rotes, Zetebe Capel Rotes, Iswates Yapaletes, Rotes, Capeteletebe Rotes, Zetebe Giates, Rotes, Celebetas, Zelebeta Revelas, Capapas Yates. Set my heart on fire for you. Let it burn for you.
Jesus. When they see me, they see Jesus.
worship mean to you? What does it mean to you? Worship is not a song. Worship is not music. Mm -mm. <laughs> Worship, true worship, is the meaning of the song that you sing. You sing, I love you, Jesus. Do you mean it? That's the question I have for you tonight. Do you mean it? I worship and adore you. Do you mean it? That is true worship. You are not just singing words because you know them. No. You are telling Jesus something. You are touching his heart. You are touching his face. You are coming into his presence and you are telling him exactly how you feel. We sing songs because the words have already been packaged for us. So the song in itself is not worship. No, don't miss out. Don't miss out. Don't be outside the worship. Mm -mm. That is not the worship. The worship is not the song. The worship is your heart, your feeling, expressed in lyrics, expressing. What does it say? What does, how do you feel? That's what you are doing. You are worshiping. That is, you don't need a song to worship. <laughs> you can stand in God's presence without anything said, and you have worship. Your worship is in your action, is in your lifestyle. That is worship. So I want to admonish you tonight. Hold on to the words that I say. Touch the heart of God. Everything that you say, mean it. Mean it. If you've never done it before, do it now. That is where we are going. That is the place that we want to be. Inside the love of God not inside the world not inside the music so if the music goes off does your worship go off that's the question for today so i'm going to practice i'm going to sing a song only you will sing it no one will help you but mean everything you say if you have to shut your eyes if you have to kneel down just do it. But today, touch God. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end. To the God of all flesh. Just sing, sing to Jesus.
Jesus wants to hear your voice. Jesus wants to hear your voice. Not only does he love you, he wants you to love him back.
Now on to the lamb upon the throne We raise a son We raise a son Any anamatande nata for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Does it touch you? <laughs> yeah. Now on to, now on the Lamb upon the throne. Somebody sing. Jehovah make a dishka. Jehovah Rohi.
Hallelujah. In meetings like these, your consciousness makes a difference. Your consciousness makes a difference. Are you jumping because everyone is jumping? Are you praying because every other person is praying? Your consciousness makes the difference. The word of the Lord says in Hebrews 12, verse 22, he said, For ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. So know where you are tonight. Know where you are tonight. Let's be seated for the next few minutes. We're going to stand up to pray. Hallelujah. Know where you are tonight. If we come here and do everything that we have done, and no spiritual essence is transferred, then we wasted our time. Hallelujah. We didn't come here to entertain ourselves. We came here to administer the ordinances of God. So we'll read from Luke chapter 8, from verse 43 to 49. And we stand up and pray. Luke 8, 43 to 49. I know you know this story, but open your heart to hear it from another dimension this evening. And the woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, would have spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. Verse 43. Came behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stanched. Verse 45. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and said, Thou who touched me? 46. And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. Verse 47. And when the woman saw that she was not here, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people, for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. Verse 48. And he said unto her daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. In this multitude tonight, I want you to touch Jesus as an individual. Hallelujah. So we're going to stand up and we're going to pray. Whatever thing you came here with, whatever addiction you came here with, whatever baggage you came here with, whatever thing that is not of God that you came here with, I want you to touch Jesus tonight. I want you to touch Jesus tonight. You came here with any form of addiction. You came here fireless. You came here with unforgiveness in your heart. You came here with anything that is not of God. Lift up your voice tonight and touch God. Lift up your voice and touch God in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Paratekima lift up your voice but aseliate paradagabe ayeta ayeta pandelos adagabesh parate ateliatela paradagabe askepela aradenina abarua degabe olas Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be by the riverside and die of test. You shouldn't be by the riverside and die of test. In this service tonight, our God is here. So for the next one minute, with all intentionality, anything that is not of God on your inside, addiction, unforgiveness, whatsoever thing it is, present it to God in the next one minute. From the depth of your heart, our God is here. Our God is here. Lift up your voice and pray intentionally. Lift up your voice and pray. Asepe ruanete, pane tuai, arabalene kapela, ayes suanela, aradeletesh, 
Anhelas, pelas, 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 para da cabeles. In Jesus, precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. You will obey the Spirit of God. We will do God's will today. Now more than ever, we will do God's will. We are in the midst of another. God is here. Begin to blast in tongues. Begin to blast in the language of the Holy Ghost. God is here. perceive how God will move but God is going to shock us God is going to do it in ways we never thought and God said I should tell you today unbox me I want to express myself he said that tonight he will express himself in different dimensions tonight everybody will meet God at the point of their needs he will express himself in different many dimensions tonight tonight not tomorrow tonight God is going to express himself secondly he said that generals, this in this end time army camp, armies are being raised that will go to the ends of the earth, that will go to the ends of the world, they will carry this gospel. He said there are some people that will waste their life on the altar of prayer to see men come to salvation. I don't know what we're doing in this book, but let me tell you something. There is a move of God, and we cannot contain it. We cannot hold it back.
time comes that we are raising generals, they are raising army. He said that there's about to be a soul harvest. We are going to harvest souls. And guess the number he said? He said we'll harvest them in billions. He said there will be a soul harvest. He said that generals are being raised here that will go to the ends of the world and will harvest souls in billions.
Lift up your hands and celebrate Jesus. Lift up your hands, give God praise. Worship God. Speak in the language of the Spirit right now. Speak in the language of the Spirit. Speak in the language of the Spirit right now. said to do right now. Number one, God is said to heal. Number two, God is said to deliver. And number three, God is said to reposition outbursts of your spirit. That is, God is said to reposition you in the realm of the spirit. You have been on a certain level you have been on a certain level before now. God is about bringing about a change in your spiritual level. Hold on first. Hold it. TC, please give me some level. Shoot me up a little, please. Thank you. Whatsoever any form of sickness that has come with you, to this mountain tonight. God said I should tell you. Upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance. And the children of covenant. Shall possess their possession. Whatsoever. Glory be to God. Whatsoever may be that issue of concern in your health, tonight there shall be total restoration upon your health in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear this in the atmosphere of worship, God resides. We are not doing what we are doing just to fulfill all righteousness. We are not doing what we are doing just to organize something so that they will know that something is happening. As a matter of truth, this is not a recreation center. 
I walked around. Some came with their friends just to have nice time. Just like going into cinema to watch a movie. You have wrong perception of this program. You have not come to just spend Sunday night life or weekend night life, social gathering. I love that definition by Corrie of the word worship. Worship is not in the song. Worship is not in the music. Worship is in your heart to God. When songs ends, when instrument ends, your heart to God continues. Worship is not how much you can shout. Worship is not how much you can roll on the floor. Worship is your truthfulness, the truthfulness of your heart to God. I don't plan this, but as I climb this altar, God said this should be administered. And for anyone going through any form of challenge in their health, please come towards the altar tonight. God is about to do something new in your life. Glory be to God. somebody tonight God said I should tell you we will record instant testimonies right now instant testimonies of healing will happen right now instant testimonies of supernatural restoration of earth will happen right now if that shall be you let your amen show it right now Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be.
the people bring me the oil, please, please. of oil come towards the altar everybody carrying oil please come let everybody come I declare by the word of the Lord the scripture says and he gave them power over all unclean spirits and when the disciple returned, they said, and we anointed the sick with the oil, and they were healed. As this oil comes upon every one of you, I decree restoration of your health right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever may be the root of that sickness in your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I command total restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. By the word of the Lord tonight, I declare you, you have made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. So shall it be. This are not all ordinary oil anymore. This become the holy anointing oil. As this comes upon your head, your healing is delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Let your power flow hey. in this place. Let your healing come in this place, I call for signs and wonders. In this place, let your power flow. In this place, anointing for on me. Shabara de Belatai, your land will I see.
number two ministration tonight. You have been struggling with any form of addiction. And it looks as if something is still holding you bound. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. You desire the deliverance from any form of addiction or any habit that is not of the Lord tonight. I want you to quickly come out right now. You desire to be free from any form of addiction. You desire to be free from any form of addiction tonight. God of the supernatural deliverance is in the house tonight. And he said, he said, he said, he said, this day shall be the end of such addiction upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. There, there is power in the name of Jesus to pray. Jesus Christ that chain of addiction is broken from your life now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power in the name of Jesus Christ because he has given us a name that is above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven things on earth things under the earth Whatever that addiction may be in your life, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, that chain is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture speaking, he said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. By this anointing coming upon your head, that yoke of addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your total liberty now in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. It is done. In Jesus' glorious name. Go ahead right now and partake of that anointing right now. That I hear the chain, the chain falling. is falling right now. I hear the chain that negative chain addiction comes on end in your life.
an army rising now there is an army rising now there is an army rising now you desire an increase in your spiritual level there is an army rising now there is an army rising now as the oil comes upon you there shall be outburst of speed of enrichment in your spiritual life in the name of Jesus Christ you desire an outburst in your spiritual life come forward right now to sakale bala bata santa le bala bashkete ale brali agaba rando siza kashkete ale bralo siza malebra katasha kalaba andra la bala bata yagata susa kashkete ale brali agaba
When darkness at the side of light Ever pouring at the wings of light You are the light that makes my face shine bright So when I look your face I become the light When darkness at the side of light the poor red and the wings of the light. You are the light that makes my face. You are the light that makes my face shine bright. You and I look your face. some quick work in the body of some people right now you have seen some hand of the Lord in your in your body right now we want to record some instant testimonies right now you have seen the hand of the Lord in your body in any way quickly come towards the altar to register your testimonies right now <laughs> You are recording your testimony. You don't need to go back. Just say where you are. Just say where you are. You are recording your testimony. Just say where you are. Hold on, 
together for Jesus for confirming his word in our midst make it bigger 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 for Jesus please guys sit here for a while just like I told you in the morning if God can do it for your neighbor it's a proof that God is within your neighborhood if God can do it for your neighbor is a proof that God is within your neighborhood and it will perfect that which concerns you also in the name of Jesus Christ. Here this God said I should tell somebody, some of you as you sleep tonight 
he will reveal himself to you the more in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see the wonders of the Lord in your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see the hand of the Lord upon your life in your sleep in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be great manifestation of the power of the Lord upon your life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And your life shall never remain the same. In Jesus' glorious name. We recorded so much our testimonies tonight. Over 50 testimonies recorded instantly. But we'll just take some few tonight. We'll be sharing the remaining in our subsequent services as the Lord grant us the privilege. Yeah. Praise God. We have here from Chudobi Priestley, Reflections. He says, I want to thank God for healing. I have been having a pain for eight days in my left ear now. But I told God that I won't live here without pain. And immediately after getting anointed, I touched my left ear and to the glory of God, the pain has vanished. <laughs> it's from Abigail Agogo, CUTG. She says, I came here feeling utterly weak. Not only did God tell me why, but he healed me and gave me his strength. Also, I didn't know that I had an addiction to flute, food, that's gluttony, till the Lord pointed it out. He also showed me how laziness and indiscipline crept in because of that door. Tonight, the addiction is broken, and I have an inward witness. This God is full of love and mercy. Hallelujah! It is from... Oluwa Muiwa praise. C-U-M-D. I have always had this bad headache from secondary school. Sometimes it comes as migraine on one side of my head. But today, as the anointing oil was placed on my head, I felt it no more. Secondly, there is no form of addictions anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is from Chijama Uchechi, C-U-T-G. After my service, I started feeling a strain on my right leg. It hindered my walking as I could not walk without a limp from then. I slept and woke up and it got worse. I anointed the leg during the altar call for healing and continued worshipping. I didn't notice until Pastor Victor Hill asked for instant testimonies that I couldn't feel the pain anymore here again. I checked and the pain is really gone. Praise God. This is from Jethro Tobiloba Technical Crew. Some years back, I had a knee accident and I had to undergo an operation. I couldn't walk for months after the operation, but I started walking again. Around July, I started experiencing some serious knee pains. We went to the hospital and prayed about it, but it wasn't fully healed. After resumption, I got serious pains, or I get serious pain after walking long distance or standing for long. Praise God, during the service, I still had some serious pains up until the time I came out to be anointed. And that was the last time I felt the pain. Is someone celebrating the Lord? To God alone be all the glory. Every testimony is recorded tonight. I declare it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the hand of the Lord rest upon every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in Jesus' glorious name. The Lord bless you all. Because of time, we will not be able to take the testimonies one after the other. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Make it bigger, 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 bigger for Jesus. To God alone be all the glory. How many could feel God in this place tonight? To him alone be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. And also I want to admonish, in case you are not identified with any service unit in the chaplaincy, please, there is opportunity for 
everyone to belong to one at least. Serve God with all your heart and you will see the goodness of the Lord upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Just identify with any of the service units this season and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody blessed tonight? Rise to your feet right now. Lift up your hands to heaven and celebrate Jesus. Give God praise. Give him glory for the move of the spirit in our midst. For the encounters we have received tonight. Celebrate the faithfulness of the Lord. Glorify his name. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be the name, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we have worshipped. I still have the leading to sing that song, Hallelujah, that's what my song will be. And that is what your song will be in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that is what your song will be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's sing that song for a few minutes. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. Amen. We are going to sing it much. For four. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. is what your song will be in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall turn to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in Jesus name. Hold the hand of somebody right now as we share this goodness together in fellowship and surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever yeah. hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah